<laughs> I am Olivia. Hello. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to go to Churchill to meet up with a bunch of people for a rally. fucking up our treaties and not respecting our us as a sovereign nations and things like that and so I don't know and this is just it's, basic knowledge for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of banded together and uh, that's how they started it up but it was on the media I guess CBC kind of picked it up with a uh, tree suspense when she's um, fasting and stuff like that or um, she wanted to meet with Stephen Harper and the, the Queen to renegotiate or to talk over the, the total, like... So she wants a follow-up meeting to those meetings they kind of just ended, like, hundreds of years ago. They just <laughs> stopped much, calling back. Pretty much, exactly. <laughs> She's like, remember that one time that we signed these treaties <laughs> that we made deals about things and you were supposed to talk to us about stuff? And you haven't done that ever. Yeah, because we have I'm lawyers a now. Off about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just be—it's just crazy what they did, and they got away with it. Yeah. That'd be like today, like if we were to like go to some other country and like, just like, start killing people from there and like. Genociding. <laughs> yeah, and like imposing rules and stuff and taking over lands. Yep. That doesn't and happen then, like, though. And fucking smallpox blankets like holy shit like oh gifts gosh. of disease like I hope that you all die and um, <laughs> that we never see you again <laughs> and then like that still continues today and it's like what the fuck is going on here yeah what are we covering today what has your story what are you gonna find out uh, right now we gotta find out what's going on see uh, if I don't know more is involved in this or not hopefully there's a lot of people out there today Sometimes it's like 2,000 plus. What? If we're lucky, it'll be one of those days. Nice. Uh, if we're unlucky, it might be somewhere near 50 range. But uh, we'll see who cares and why. <laughs> protect the water. Our way protect the future generations. That's what we do. And we're fighting back. We've had enough. They're still talking about us. They're still planning. They're still putting that black snake through our land, our water. Who the hell do they think they are? I'm sick of them. When we stand up, I'm sick of the people who are being apathetic, who are sitting on a goddamn Plant the seed everywhere we go. The subconscious will pick up. I go everywhere I go, no matter what. I will take a moment to say, I don't know more wherever I'm standing. So that awakening starts happening. So people start realizing this is a major movement that needs to take place across the land. It's not for the few selected people who are going to take time out of their precious day to come and talk or to come and spend time together. I see the same people, but there's been people, hundreds here. Where are they? Your goddamn bullshit um, and what do you think? What's going on? People about progressive well, Alberta, this lady is, uh, even very the passionate prime minister. Progressive about, uh, Alberta. Who's progressive? The truth that, uh, who the hell is benefiting? Uh, not my uh, people. And certainly uh, not damage, those who are mentally challenged. The and certainly not those who are homeless in this city. Certainly not those who are addicted. Certainly not those people. And uh, sell it to each other and kill each other for it. What do you think? Like, what's with the numbers here? Can you together. tell us about that? I, yeah, I'm I know. I'm, I'm grateful. really I'm grateful. severely grateful. disappointed. I thought there was going to be a much bigger crowd. Put um, the Aboriginal people yeah, first a few in your ago, talks. That's probably Hi, hi. Like, probably upwards of a thousand people, so <laughs> the people it's who like are here do care. They don't speak the language of um, understanding. They care. They don't hear I, you. For me, it's like they care enough for because three people, you know, each. So for all the people who don't care, maybe these people can care enough to That's what bring out a bigger crowd next time because this is never the end of the road because these are rules and usually how these things go. Uh, it's never just a one-time event. It's always like That's more what than once. Who's this woman? And it's time for us to yeah, use their language. Maybe we can interview her then after, right? <laughs> How'd it go? How do you think? It's alright. Freezing. Freaking freezing, freezing cold out. Yeah. Uh, not enough bodies to keep us warm. Sometimes it just kind of goes like that when there's not a lot, enough publicity or preparation before the event. Um, so hopefully next one will be a lot bigger. At least like four times bigger. But 
Um, yeah, I guess it went well. Talked to some people, found out what's going yeah. on. Got a little bit of uh, energy back on. I mean, we got to keep our waters and trees safe. <laughs> people do care, won't stop caring, and uh, the numbers can only go up because, yeah, you can't unlearn something you learn, you, you know? You just can't unlearn anything, and we're dealing with facts here. Like, uh, our jobs won't matter if we don't have clean water to drink, we'll be dead. So, uh, well, this, I'm Olivia, <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> derp, derp. Really? Would you get your tongue pierced? No. no. <laughs> Would you get anything pierced? Just my nipples together. <laughs> together. Nothing else. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>